In 1873, a Canadian chocolate company was born in the most unlikely of places. The company was Ganong Brothers, and the place was the small town of St. Stephen, New Brunswick. What would James and Gilbert Ganong say if they pulled up to one chocolate drive today? Today, that company has the distinction of being the oldest family-owned candy and chocolate maker in Canada, and Canada's largest producer of box chocolates and fruit snacks. When it all began, Canada was not even 10 years old. The chocolate bar hadn't been invented, and store-bought candy was just becoming a favorite family treat. But there's so much about this story to tell. It's a history of hard work and determination, innovation, and evolving while never losing sight of our deeper values and longer-term vision to produce what have often been called the finest chocolates in the land. A look back at Ganong's rich chocolate history is full of hand-dipped chocolates and confectioner's treats. Eye-catching packaging and beautiful boxes have changed through the generations. It's a story about family and a community with a determination to succeed. Our chocolates are good to eat, of that I am certain. I eat large quantities every day myself. Arthur Ganong, 1906. A story that spans five generations of Ganongs and five generations of people in the community of St. Stephen, as well as the discerning taste of Canadians. An ongoing tale that has forged lasting memories and captured heartstrings, cheered up Depression-era sweethearts with the heart-shaped box, and comforted our servicemen with sturdy soldiers' boxes, sending a sweet taste of home overseas in two world wars. Generation after generation, passed along from grandparents to parents to kids. When you have been making quality chocolates and candies for as long as Ganong, there are bound to be products that become traditions in households across Canada. Over the years, Ganong has been the first to do many things which have made Canadian candy and chocolate history, including 1895, first Canadian lollipop, 1910, first five cent chocolate nut bar, 1932, first heart-shaped Valentine's box. Today, we still proudly produce from that small border town, now officially known as Canada's chocolate town, using premium ingredients sourced both locally and from around the world. A trip to the Ganong Chocolatier store in St. Stephen evokes the feeling of traveling back to the early 1900s. You'll feel like a kid again trying to decide. Rich milk caramel, chocolate truffles, peanut butter cups, double dip cherries, the one and only Ganong Original Chicken Bones. Our premier Delecto chocolates can be found on store shelves across the country and have been Canadian favorites for nearly a century. And in fact, Delecto boxes have become keepsakes in themselves. You can sample the difference tradition makes every time you take a box home. True to our heritage, we still offer Canadian classic pieces such as Palomine fudge, chicken bone nougat, and maple cream. Seeing all this now, James and Gilbert just might smile. I'm Brianna Ganong. And I'm Nick Ganong, part of the fifth generation of Ganongs. We look forward to bringing you the same satisfaction Canadians have always enjoyed. For Gen generations to come, Ganong, a tradition of sweet success, still going strong. <laughs>